What makes a happy marriage? A healthy marriage usually is a happy marriage. But then again, a happy marriage is usually a healthy marriage. There are three pillars on which a marriage is based. Without those three pillars, it cannot last. Pillar number one, generosity, kindness. If you're not kind and you're not generous, you cannot be married. You probably can't even be a good friend. Generosity means generous with your possessions, generous with your time, generous with your space, generous with your opinion, and generous with your words. If you have that kind of generosity, that kind of openness to another person, then the other person is comfortable in your life because you've made room for them. Without that generosity, your doors are closed, nobody is welcome, and nobody is going to feel comfortable in your world. Pillar number two, respect. Dignity. Your own dignity, your spouse's dignity. A man said to me, my wife suffered from Alzheimer's, senile condition, for a number of years. And when she passed away, the husband said, I don't know if I was really a good husband, but I do know that I never compromised her dignity. I said, you were a good husband. Never compromise each other's dignity. Never tear away a mask that a person needs to wear. Never lower your own dignity. Don't make it hard on your spouse to respect you. Why, when the doorbell rings, do you go and get dressed before you answer the door? It's just a pizza guy delivering pizza. Why do you have to be decent when you open the door to the delivery boy? You don't have to be decent to your husband, to your wife. Something's wrong with that. Instead of lowering your standards at home and in the bedroom, raise your standards. Be more elegant, more dignified, more respectful, not less. You got to live with this guy for the rest of your life. And you have to live with her for the rest of your life. Don't make it hard by being sloppy or careless or grungy like fathers who say to their daughters, you can't go out dressed like that. They should say the opposite. Dressed like that, go out. At home, you should be a mensch. So give the home a little more respect. That's the second pillar. The third pillar is, don't treat marriage like it's your idea. You met somebody, you fell in love, you decided to marry. No, marriage is not your idea. Marriage is a divine arrangement. It's God's idea. It's a sacred institution. It has something to do with souls getting divided and finding each other. There's something mystical going on here. It's way above your pay grade. Don't reduce it to your own little interest. This is where next generation is going to come from. This is how you make children. God is very particular about his children. In a marriage, the third pillar is sanctity. You're engaging in something sacred and awesome. Give it the awe and the respect that it deserves. Not only your marriage, other people's marriage too. It's sacred. Never try to outshine a husband in the presence of his wife. It's not nice. Never try to make a woman look bad in the presence of her husband. The marriage is sacred. Don't mess with it. That's sanctity. You're engaged in something bigger than the two of you, respectfully, thoughtfully. The result is you're going to have a happy marriage. The result is you're going to love what you have. But it's the three pillars that make it work.